sponsored by Fakil 20. Breaking news. I want to talk to you. Mock news. I want to say so. Search for the truth. Mock news, not the face. Barara, not the look who face. Mock news, not the look who face. Truth to truth, you talk well, well. But politicians run well, well. Pastors run well, well. Barara, mother, Jack is well, well. I want to matter. Breaking news. Shepherd, you get a little bit slow. Nobody they pursue you, slow down, be quiet. Uh huh. Uh huh. I mean, the one of Africa. I go to buy to cook when you cook in sweet. We for Kenya, we can't do We do it for Now see, finish with the shots. I make good money. Turn off. I appoint my God. Give God. I make God. I make the animal shit work up. So today, more Chris is all this more more news. <laughs> And you try, and you try to walk on myself because a lot of people start to be shot. Start to wake their children. One other study, so I don't want to wake the children. So now let me the. So, I'm going to go straight to the reason why we are here. No time. Okay, bro. The grandpa party. Yeah, 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 who banned it down? Oh yeah, and I my boss at we are ever with another brand new one. He say he do bandit it, or they toss a bandit na terrorist. Say <laughs> Nigeria go in yaga. He say Nigeria go scatter like uh, bonga fish with bon bon full of you here. Okay, okay, broke manage. We what came, it is a coin yaga. He said we no need to toss a bandit na terrorist because we need to pamper them because now because of the hardship and no work, now I may bandit they do those things. He says so Nigeria government no need to call the terrorists. Those of you who don't know the man we talk, oh yeah, na it's a gummy, we need gummy, we need gummy or a bummy or no even know what to be your name. Now I boss at court talker. He says so me no even think ah. See because they think ah Nigeria go in ah. Now Nigeria can scatter. Nigeria go scatter blast. See so now they talk and so see because now they be this person to bandit. So make the not as a bandit, it's a terrorist. Those of you never watch that when they talk about them for here, Rigadilaba. Now we start our top stories in West Africa, Nigeria, where Cardinal-based Islamic cleric Sheikh Ahmed Gumi has won the President Muhammadu Buhari led federal government against declaring bandits terrorists. Now Gumi warned that Nigeria would stop existing as a sovereign and united entity if the federal government declared bandits as terrorists. Islamic cleric allegedly disclosed this in a Facebook post on Sunday night. He however admitted that the devastation caused by bandits in the northwest amounted to terrorism. Gumi stressed that despite the devastation, proscribing bandits would lead to severe consequences that will consume the entire country. Now let's see a summary of what the Islamic cleric says um, and from what he has come out to say. The acts the bandits are committing now in Northwest have gradually over time become tantamount to terrorism because who, whoever or wherever innocent people are, fatal, I beg your pardon, let me repeat that. The acts the bandits are committing now in Northwest have gradually over time become tantamount to terrorism because wherever innocent people are, a fatal victim, it becomes terrorism well aside that he also went ahead to mention that this will give criminality a spiritual cover and remove the stigma of discrediting them with such crimes since now they are fighting a jihad as they claim now these are not just all he also went ahead to say northeast is already and is still devastated by this madness for over 12 years and that's exactly what he said now he also went here to make mention that if we allow terror to set in into these raw, naive, unexposed bandits, 
uh, especially in the northwest, it will become a bigger problem. Coming on, Nigeria in your country, Nigeria is gone. So the person they with the with the price they give bandit, but person not day to the talk about the people with bandit key. Now wait till they may bandit the key. Now this man they talk. Only now Nigeria, eh, we know they go anywhere. It's like we get supervisor for criminal, supervisor for stupid thing, but we not get supervisor for this uh, citizen. Nobody they represent or this man does suppose they prison. No be. Quote me anywhere, according to English language. So did this man and I did tell Nigeria what to do. And Nigeria never fi arrest this man. On a fi arrest in the Kano. On a fi arrest on the Bowu with the Juju and two demons. On arrest them. So if they, they benena, they they come here, hello, parana, if you send me popo gari, I said no. No, we may arrest on a mona day, they mona cool off. But if you arrest this man with a plenty, plenty, be a be or we be a be a go go do shit, right now, like person we call for mololo muso. I'm like, now I call the people they call the Nigeria government and on a live That means this man, now you, you. If I use, if I give you back answer, but be be when I keep pull, you understand what I mean, now. So you now, if you they tell us what the bandit, what the people do bandit, but you know if you tell us what the the bandit they do, like people with bandit the key. You know if you represent an bandit, if you represent. <laughs> if you tell us, say, Christian can represent a bohu or Muslim can represent anyone like the way they represent bandit. When in Nigeria, why they turn and say this country, everybody will did dinner to do any year. <laughs> to do any year, to just get money. Because he says they this country, this man supposed to be prison, not even prison, supposed to be life in prison. But he did not they give all that. Now they tell us how much bandit want. Now they tell us food will go give bandit. So then very soon they will still come out to we say now nah, we we'll give the salad. We we'll give the salad. Salad they make their mind they go down. After that one, maybe we we'll come outside and say, you understand? Maybe they give them more power. Bandit. Now you see more they more they follow the they the rob mind. Um like but when a Nigeria government on a dead door, if he reach now the can hey, kill it. That one way they do face like custard. Put on. Minister of Information, like Mohammed, where we're now, we're over, okay, go, he do share, like, Ogbori, and I swear for you, so, if you reach down, you come aside, oh, no, 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 we have to, but we reach this guy now, you know, if he did talk, with the CEO now, cut in a radio, Momo go go straight to another news, no time, because if I see man, follow this man now, the officer, I get personal problem, but not to get him, but I get personal problem, sharp. Oh yeah, now me move on on one way. I can't call up here. Move go straight to other news. No time because if I did talk about my mind, now people will say I had a. It's a critic. It's not a critic. It's real mind. Only now. One governor don't call a slap. Okay then. Oh boy. What would they tell us in Nigeria? No, just to show ourselves online to comment. Now we sabi do. One governor they won't swear in according to English language swearing. I mean, swearing, I ain't. I don't swear, I ain't. The guy go buy suit for only a market. <laughs> I was surprised when they get suit. The two, you know, say, when they buy a cricket, you know, they get top. Maybe if you get trousers, you know, get the top. But this guy get the top. If you get singlet, everything complete. As the guy come outside, they say, okay, the new governor of the state, we want to hear your speech. And the guy boss out. And the guy boss us in a gift speech, then one man name, no okay, name. So people get out for this one, though. This one, and they just say people will go ever, people will go ever fire. Okay, name. look people well because some people will go ever, will give devil problems. Some people will go uh, air fire, will give, no. Some people will go ever, will give God problems. Some people will go ever, uh, air fire, they will give devil problems. Just smack up. The guy go buy suit too. Dress up. Even the security man say hello. He say, how are you doing, man? You know, say all these security men, the fear person when they speak English. If you say people when they speak English, <laughs> you know, if he do bad. They don't know say the guy, eh? He cook hot slap. He cook until they break. Better hot. They had the hot jo -jo 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 like iron. All those iron, what they call Philip. You know, Philip iron now. Those are when they burn clothes. No Philip. <laughs> okay, those of you know, okay, I don't know, I don't understand. 
The guy shook the hand for his eye pocket. They said, where are you going? He said, I, sh- I just want to speak to the governor. That is okay, pass. And the guy waka. The governor sees somebody, they waka, the and the governor, they talk. You see, the problem of this country, we have to, and the guy waka reached the governor. The governor said, hello, can I help you? Oh, yeah, na. We am the slap. Oh, even devil is shocked. Even the man spirit shot Jesus. He all, all those Arab countries where they serve Muslim. The guy shot Jesus. Before they see me, they rush the guy. Eh? Even the mic, the mic, the echo, his poor speaker. Those of you never watch him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Only slap the nana, they say the governor, you know, if they talk where they shout, hold on, hey, hold on. He slap on me. He slap on me. He on me. He slap on Africa, go they only pray, oh God, help me, help me. No, we need physical. For US, the stone one uh, president will cock shoe. For uh, Ukraine, one, one place. There's, okay, no, no, no. France uh, president, the bonus slap, he collect. Nah, Iran governor, he don't collect. But for Africa, no president, no governor don't collect because everybody fear, nobody won't die. But they do us. We need to work on our slap. Not be only relationship or oh, me, even I see parana, oh, we will keep parana, why parana go insult my pastor? If you reach on a pastor and I won't keep me, God go punish you. Why you go insult our pastor? You all you insult our this. But no, no, you just yeah. All the governors where they make life, they add us. When I know if you boom, anyone slap. No be boari or boari, no. No be slap, you go collect. I want a conk. No be full conk. <laughs> you understand? You just stretch out. You see where they conk. Very soon, Africa go reach like that because the Africa governor, the politicians, you know, if you say nothing, the apple will get like 15 police, 20 police. Even the police say, now they give you an information out. The police, they don't tire a rich year. All those Africa governor and president, when they visit police, they guide us. Nobody will to touch us. I just they give on an expo because very soon I would collect slap. Oh. You understand? With a warm up slap, we na go collect because the police have eh? We na go the pay police chicken change and we na get friends that they get asked for Dubai. They get like this. You understand what I mean? Na? <laughs> I just can't slap away. So Nigeria, we are building it. Small, small. We will we'll be like this. May God bless this man. We slap the governor. Okay, and I'm going to give them the slap again that they like the sand. <laughs> See, I can get head deep because of this slap. Let me go straight to that news. No time before this slap called death, my ear. No time, okay, bro? Those pass away, they see vision anyhow. Any small they don't go say, play go crash. This country go do like this. <laughs> oh, yeah, nah. No carry that vision go Ghana. <laughs> Our brother, what do they call Shatawale? Don't follow us. Don't help us positions of pastor. For the past how many years, they say Shatawale go die, go die, go die, go die. They don't know the guy that they give an psychological problem or they give an emotional problem. Every time they don't say Shatawale will die, Shatawale will die because one professor say a bunny go die, a bunny read die. Since that time, everybody could have tried their prophecy. So say Shatawale go die. The guy not go die. They don't even know say the devil they fear Shatawale. <laughs> devil with they fear that face. Shatawale without the big mouth. Even devil, if they reach they say that they fear, they say Jesus. I'm on a mummy gun. Not be everything that they talk with English. One person your boss at confident. He says Shatawale go die October 18, like the way they take key to uh, Lucky Dube. Akasa. Chatawale called the say, eh? Chatawale called the wait. 18, nobody will call shoot them. Even the mosquito way they ask, nobody die. And Chatawale said, okay, we need to tell the world say we don't die. And Chatawale with the boys, they say, <coughs> we don't die. They shoot me. 
From there, the news go. Even the inspector general, don't feel read From there, they arrest Shatawale. They arrest the pastor. So now, pastor and police, they don't go into a meeting. And they want to sanitize social media. Those of them, they see vision, we know they work according to the way Nigeria has been. They see the way Ghana has been now. Nigeria see they misbehave. Now they, they sanitize and now sanitize me. Say, you be can receive vision, we know work. <laughs> okay, ne? You be see vision, we know work. You got the water, say no. Now, if we you, oh, now spirits, now go beg God. <laughs> they go and cough you and your vision. They go and cough your eye and cough your heart. Now they don't go to so those of you know wash away the police and the pastors come together. Oh yeah, rigodilaba. The law must work. That is the agreement reached between the police and faith-based organizations in a meeting held at the police headquarters Monday. The meeting called by the Inspector General of Police comes in the wake of the arrest of a prophet who has been caught up in the gunshot attack hoax by dancehall musician Shatawale. Now, the prophet who was granted bail today is said to have prophesied the death of the musician. Addressing the media at the meeting, presiding bishop of the Methodist Church of Ghana, Right Reverend Paul Boafo, said they will embark on a sensitization program to ensure their members don't fall foul of the law. And we had resource persons coming in to tell us about how religion can be used to foster coexistence and then also to obey and adhere to the laws of this nation based on the church's operations in Ghana. And some of the areas that we looked at indicated that the church can fall foul and can be uh, sealed or can be brought to, to law when it comes to noise making, when it comes to uh, things that are inhumane that are committed in the society. And all these things are not new. They are our laws, which we believe that they must be enforced in society. So all the heads agreed that the police must be supported by the faith-based organizations to do their work. And in doing their work, it means that the laws must work in Ghana. And that is what we are all agreeing on. And as a church, what we can do best is to support them with our prayers and also support them in every aspect of their life. Women he said you must get evidence. You won't see prophecy, no evidence. Oh, yeah, now they're going to cough you. Oh, man, uh, this one, what you need to do for Nigeria because I do on my own. No, be sad, no, no, and you understand. Then one pastor just come. Say, Tinubu will die. Say, if Tinubu not die, Nigeria citizen not go to okay. So, Tinubu will die either by accident or by sickness. If you miss if I go contribute money. Not be sad, they confess, so, but I just they want to know what he I do. We, both our area people will go contribute money, will go buy coffee in case Tinubu die. Not be say, na me talk am. Those of you nobody here with the pastor, they talk how you are regarding Federal Republic of Nigeria, listen to me. Tinibu will soon join his ancestors. Tinibu will soon join his ancestors. He will soon join his ancestors. Yes. I'm not seeing life in him. He will soon join his assets either by sickness or by accident. But I'm seeing him going down. 
Because if you continue living, it's going to be a very big problem to people. That's what the Lord said. Thank you. Celebrate Jesus. To watch. We buy coffee, finish. One news call comes in, Tinubu, they seek. We call it, oh, God, God, oh, Tinubu, finally, finally, one dog go. Now Tinubu come back. Now they really do election now. Tinubu won't do election. Put the pastor there. We they do face like somebody with the same wish for, but the wish not the whole case. So. Tinubu, not try that play for Ghana, they, they arrest now. You understand? Your vision, if you're not straight, we know what here say what to happen or one prayer do one thing. If your vision is not straight, don't come and say if you don't even have evidence, not go Ghana, they go put you for prison. I like the new IGP for Ghana. May God bless you. you understand, ma? Woman, go Nigeria. Now they teach the rest of Africa this stupidity. When they see vision up and down, many of them are talk about coronavirus. We end in May, we end in June, we end in March, we end in three months, we end in like this thing. Now, coronavirus is day. Now, when they blue, I say, when I'm not talking, all of them are not called the form. When I say, me, I know they forget. All of them are not the form. They do different, different programs. The Lion of Judah, they like this, like this, this is like this. When I forget, so when I talk, say, coronavirus go, go, go end, till now, corona never end. Nigeria citizen, make a your turn at the gospel truth. Prophecy is like talent. Not be God to talk to them. Now talent. If you don't know, because say prophecy not only turn it attainment. You can go spend all your life savings for a person with a sea vision. <laughs> You're on your own. Only now nana that it cause a lot of problem for Africa. Na 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 na. Eh, Tinubu not die. I don't want to return coffee now. They don't take coffee. They say, oh, tis, somebody die. Who won't die now? Nobody won't die. Oh, man, uh, and this pastor don't give us hope. See, Tinubu must die. Now, Tinubu not die. If now uptown, eh, if now even Ghana, you're supposed to even day prison. Go straight to Odan, use no time. Where we the town are about Lagos Airport? For the past how many years now, the experience where people they pass for Lagos Airport. Lagos Airport now one of the hair, one of the most stupid place for this world. If you, if you don't get sense, if you pass that place, you are on your own. Whether you they go Ghana, Ivory Coast, Liberia, anywhere you they go. Now so the immigration and the rest people go they look you. But the how do they call them? The DSS, because not only immigration, a lot of people are facing only immigration, they misbehave for that airport. But the DSS, the people where they check your money when you won't go, the people who won't check you before you go enter airport, the people who won't give you your boarding pass, everybody, the police where they airport just to monitor airport because of criminality, everybody for Lagos airport get problem. For the past how many years now, don't they read this thing? Nobody they talk about her. They say, oh, 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 everybody they free her. Pull like Mohammed there. Where they do face like somebody where his mama die, live all, like goat where do abortion, the body picky because he's inside the belly. Every time you go to fight, online people that won't cause war. I watch this thing where they talk. Say, if they don't take time, online people will cause another World War III. Those of them never watch them. <laughs> we are regarding Social media, and it's the most expensive, and the most as, as, as an unseen enemy. They are there every moment, and until we use the same, uh, we go to the same battlefield with them. There's nothing the government will do that will seem right. Now with fake news today. I'm misinformation. And I've always said it here that the next world war will be caused by fake news. If you don't know, because I don't even know, because they say it's a Yoruba man. We just spend money to wait to feed this money and children. 
This man not do any work for Nigeria. The Minister of Information, eh? Uruwe Mwabwe, you know they do one work. Oh, nothing you will even do me. Not even they look me like that. Hmm, I know they work. I know they do anything. I know they ask. So if you say you want to say, make any of your friends not take me for mock news or one thing, <laughs> we'll be online people. <laughs> now they pay you so. Women, ah. See Lagos Airport with only the complaint, the complaint, the complaint. This will not be, this will not be fake news, so. Oh. You never ever shake body, but every time you want to fight fake news, fight fake news. No, no, they don't, they don't go disgrace us now. Give U.S. woman. One U.S. woman wake up see boyfriend for Nigeria. They won't kill her because of coronavirus. And he don't do everything, pay everything. The woman now don't disgrace us for a lie. This is a disgrace upon our human integrity of human mafia. Those of you know what the woman they talk about he experienced with past. This is not fake news, though, because your own are fake news. You know, they cause World War, now you know. What over a kill world big per me kuna. Those of you know, what's up? Oh, yeah. laba. Hey, queens. So it's your girl, Alina. So I wanted to come on here and make a video about the airport and how it traumatized a lot of foreigners that come in into the Lagos, Nigeria airport. So unfortunately, this video would be done in parts because there's so much we need to talk about. So let's talk about the first thing. I'm gonna talk about the first time I've ever came into the airport in Lagos, Nigeria. And I'm gonna talk about the last time that I left. So when you're coming from America or any foreign place into Nigeria, automatically they think you're rich. And because their government is so corrupt to the people and they don't care about the people, the people see you and not all people in Nigeria, and I'm not saying this disclaimer, this is not every worker in the airport. This is not everybody in the Nigerian airport. So when I came into the airport in December of 2020, it was my first time ever being into Africa and my first time being into Nigeria. And I was super excited to go and be with my husband and his family in this new country of Nigeria. So when I came into the country and into the airport, one of the first things I noticed is that the workers looked at you and prayed on you as if you're a person and an opportunity for extra money. So when you enter in, yes, there's certain policies and there's certain procedures and papers that you need to have. But a lot of times they would lie about those papers. For example, they will lie about the seven day COVID stating that you have to have it already paid before you enter the country. And that is not true. As long as you have made your appointment, you can make the payment at the facility that you choose to have your COVID test. That was one of the lies that they tried to get extra money out of me. Anything to do with any of your paper immunizations, I want you, before you come into the Nigeria, is to make sure that all your paperwork is correct, all your immunizations is correct. Make sure everything has been crossed and dotted. So, in stating so, when I went on the portal, the Nigerian portal, and I would list that site, I made sure that I had made an appointment for my seven day COVID test. I did not pay for it, but I had the barcode and the scanner. And because I did not pay for it, and I don't have to pay for it at the time, I could pay for it when I go to the facility. The young lady said to me, and she asked me for a bribe in order for me to enter the country, knowing that I paid a lot of money to get there, that hmm, maybe another 20 to $50 more, I'm gonna give it to her because after paying all these thousands of dollars and I made it this far, she's gonna give me some more money gonna have more tips for part two hey queens part two about exposing the nigerian lagos airport so firstly what you should know is that your significant other is not allowed to enter in to the airport to help you with bags to help you check in to help you understand the language and the reason why they do that is so therefore they can take advantage of you and take advantage of the situation and lie to you about your paperwork woman lagos airport and eh, one of the most stupid airport no be sad i know i know they if you like if i go there more as man not travel i could go back to us i'll pass road 
Lagos Airport now one of the most stupid airports for the world. The most stupid airport. Whatever I see. I don't go Liberia. I don't go Ghana. I don't go uh, Benin. I don't go, uh, how do they call it? Uh, South Africa. I don't go UK. I don't go Germany. I don't go France. Lagos Airport now one of the most, even if you be devil, devil self, <laughs> they will clean up. They can clean away. The world now they misbehave for that Lagos Airport. First airport, first they see Like, yeah, they say, airport not the okay. No AC. We see the manager. Don't now see come bring on our family problem. We not turn as someone do airport job. A lot of people they facing only immigration. Not be only Nigeria immigration be the problem of that airport. From the custom to the immigration to the DSS. Those of you don't know DSS. Say DSS did that airport. DSS now the one way they give where they give your passport with your first shaker before they will give you back. Those one they beg fire. From there to the one way they are side where you very give where they will put off oh, inside your for, for inside your body pass, all of them you know, they disgrace us. And you see what they happen. And the minister of information, they do like say you no know, they year. And somebody, it's like Nigeria, eh? Oh, Nigeria, they forget that airport. The airport is the most stupid airport for the world, Lagos Airport. Nobody say we don't need to cover her up. We they talk this thing, they talk this thing, they talk this thing. Nobody, nah, nah, this woman don't disgrace us. And this disgrace now nah, rob everybody, not just only the airport. He rob all Nigerians. And this Lai Mohammed, he did there. And a Lagos person, you know, first time I say Lai Mohammed, I even from North. They say now from Lagos. And you cannot even do Lagos. You did there, the fight, what you know if you fight. If not, be say, now nah, Nigeria, we don't know yourself. Old men before like you. You and your grandchildren support to the play for us. We'll go straight to Odan, it's no time. Wait till not the apple before the apple for Japan. Okay, okay, hey God. What this is where the apple for other other country, not the apple for our country. <laughs> okay. One princess. We am no mona. Mona king yumi. Oh him mami water. We suppose marry royal family according to the constitution of a king. The guy said no, said Nehikaba. He said, This guy, he love him. He said, Me, the guy during the time for school. The guy is so brilliant. From there, he fall in love. The two, they could do Otori, Ototo, and they come, oh, yes, so who I catch. And then they could they do Mama Ko, Mama Ko, oh, where ya, Dija, la, you know what I mean? He said, So they tell us, If you marry this person, you will talk, come on now. He said, I'm ready. <laughs> okay, ne. Oh, Nigeria guess. We need to watch this news. The guess agree. The guess now, they marry this commoner. Lawyer. We single mother raise. Papa dog boof. Mama dog eh, Grandpa dog boof. Everybody don't die remotely, mama. The guy, they would tie her for back like all those all those people there for a good market. And this guess they won't marry. No one do. No one be princess. No one deal with the guy. The guy. Now the two won't go US and they go start life as a commoner. Those of you know about Russia. Oh yeah. Rigodilabo. And for the first time in two decades, a member of Japan's imperial family is getting married. The royal wedding is just hours away, but the excitement is all but absent. No crowds are gathering to wish the couple well. Instead, public opinion is largely hostile. Why is that? Because the wedding is being seen as a union of unequals. A princess is marrying a commoner. A lawyer raised by a single mother who unfortunately happens to be embroiled in a financial scandal. The princess is being slammed for her choice. Her fiancé is being hounded for his mother's decisions. What does the frenzy tell us about the Japanese society? Here's a report. He is an aspiring lawyer. She is a real-life princess. He is the son of a single parent. She is the niece of an emperor. Their union had all the makings of a modern-day royal fairy tale, only that it wasn't. Ever since Japan's princess Mako announced her engagement to Kai Kamuro, their love affair has been mired in scandal. 
public disapproval and tabloid frenzy. The simple reason is that Kai Komuro is what the Japanese call a commoner, and Princess Mako belongs to a family that is considered divine. Naturally, the union has been deemed as unworthy, ill-suited for the status of the world's longest-running dynasty. This debate has played out in Japan for four years, right from May 2017, when it was first announced. This is when the princess got engaged to Kai Komuro, her classmate at the International Christian University in Tokyo. She was drawn to his seriousness while he admired her confidence. Mr. Komuro gives me warm support. I was first attracted to his smile like the sun, but as I grew to know him, I became fond of his personality, very generous and sincere, while working hard for his objectives with a strong will. At one night I saw a beautiful moon in the sky and I promptly called her. Since then I call her every time I see the moon. The princess stays with me quietly like the moon. I am attracted to her affectionate personality while she also has strong will. The couple had planned to get married in 2018, but the wedding kept getting postponed. The imperial household maintains it was due to a lack of preparation. But royal observers suspect it was because of Kai Kamuro's background. The 30-year-old comes from a family of modest means. He lost his father and grandparents at a young age, so he was raised by a single mother, which is often looked down upon in Japanese society. Single mothers in Japan are stereotyped as incapable of raising good children. This misogyny was further enhanced by a financial scandal. In February 2018, Japanese tabloids reported that Komuro's mother owned 4 million yen or 36,000 US dollars to her former fiancé who had helped fund her son's education. Within weeks, the royal family announced they had put the wedding on hold. The princess gave a remorseful statement saying they had rushed into things too quickly. Ever since then, the Japanese press has hounded the princess and her fiancé scrutinizing every little detail about their lives, even the way they carried themselves last month. A Japanese TV crew spotted Kai on the streets of New York with a new hairstyle. Photos of his slick ponytail flooded the internet. They also set tabloid magazines ablaze with criticism. They questioned whether such a hairstyle was befitting of an imperial spouse. For Princess Mako, this relentless attention has taken its toll. Announcing the wedding date, the imperial household has revealed that the princess has been diagnosed with complex post-traumatic stress disorder, primarily because of the slander against her and her future husband. As a result, the wedding is going to be a private affair. There will be lots of paperwork, but little festivity. The princess will then give up her royal title, leave the imperial palace in Tokyo and start a new life as a commoner in New York. Will that end tabloid obsession with her life and decisions? Ask another couple that left royalty behind but couldn't shake off the paparazzi. Bureau Report, We On, World Is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move. From Nigeria, yeah. Local government chairman. You know, if you talk to the Ashid Red, say, I'm not your class. Slippers, not get size. My brother, the cheating in relationship from left to right, from right to left, because everybody not married the person with their love. Because of greed. A lot of Nigeria marry who they're not supposed to marry. From there, they'll go back to their, to their secret lover. That be the problem with your full ground. A lot of Nigerians, a lot of Africa, no marry their love. Everybody, they marry because of money, because of money, because of money, because of money. Now, when they don't see money, only they're going to say, you are not caring, you are not caring enough. From there, now they call it, come back to the man where they run, leave, go marry money. That make problem there. You know, see, on a gamma, he live in royalty. Go marry somebody way be ordinary so that they will start love. See, because this life now one. See, life now one. Oh, I know they meet all these kind of people. See, life now one. 
Yeah. Hmm. Organary is re- You cannot even talk to Genevieve. You go say, hmm, how many film you do that? You cannot. No, Toto. Oh, you know, 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 no need for Toto, no need to even call Toto name, all go fear. All go fear. No, 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 I'm not going to feel for Who again, I'll go call. Hey, president picking. Even the, the president will arrest my man, arrest my pa, for them to give birth to somebody we know the year what we call date they are picking. They go arrest my mama, my mama, I go to talk, say, you understand? Even we self, sometimes self, the president, children, go, even they love us, so we go say, ah, we, maybe you want to use us to do blood money. Some of us, when they cry for love, they do like this. Because we know they agree they follow the right person. Follow the right person, forget money. You understand? Forget money. Behave like Regina Daniel. He follow the right person. You understand what I mean? Uh, only Regina Daniel, he follow his heart. You understand? Everything that talk come outside. He follow his heart. Only now he leave his talent. Now love you, they play Wakana. Only now, I saw this girl, CB, all that indirect. So Nigeria people, now they say, oh, when I want to see my love, your love, they with you there. But you that greed. You won't buy a post. You won't buy a 413. You won't buy like this. You leave your love. Go follow another thing. Follow your heart. If you follow true love, oh God, I don't follow true love now. You will not say those things are in vain. Oh, sorry. Oh, so if you want to be like, oh, no, go straight to other news. Many people don't go to say they're using direct, they insult people. No, go straight to other news. No time. Our brother, what do they call Kubana Chief Prince? <laughs> okay, ne. Is it Kubana? You are highly welcome. Your first time on Mock News, huh? No, Momo, not be this one. Not be the black one. Put that short one. We'll be like, I can't pop up grandfather. Put that in good. You are welcome. For the past how many years now, they look in one eye like this. Because the way you just take by premature cow, give the black one to take do. Uh, in my man barrier, you call if you say anything you talk, Nigeria will take her. A lot of Nigeria, some of them are not really get sense. Not be everybody will get money, get sense. Not be everybody will get sense, get money. Now two things evolve. Now one thing won't not know. We just day, now a Kubana chief priest, just come and say, say our sister, what they call Maria? <laughs> oh yeah, nah. Say they date one married woman, he treated the woman. Say why I could do like that? Oh, internet was scatter. Oh, I watched this thing. I was so, I was so flabbergasted. We say, hey, where did treat her? Before we look, he bring court paper. I bring chat where the you uh, the girl chat with the guy. All Nigerians, all of them, they say, oh Maria, Maria, oh Maria, Maria. Many Nigerians say, some of them, now anywhere belay face, none of they go. If you don't like person, even the person they misbehave, none of them are they talk to her. Kubana chief priest, what do you do so is the most stupid something on earth. Anything love matter, no shook your mouth put. <laughs> your mother say the person are your sister. Or not your, even are you born, no shook your mouth put. If you they like uh, whether not Maria or Maria or one thing, just let us know. The way you take call the girl come outside is the most stupid something. Even for even for beginning before I don't say you know two get sense. Not be saying I mean the Nigerians, so not till they touch me. No worry, you not set trap. You know if you catch me. What do you do, Maria? I don't know the girl, I don't know anybody, but it's the most stupid thing. You just come outside. Oh, you get the married married room. Hold of another the shot. You get to know the date married person for the full Nigeria. You get to know the date, person will get girlfriend for the full Nigeria. You understand? Everything where comments I got talk, not even make sense. The threatening, you not show us. Because they show us how the woman even the advice. Maria the advice the person. What do you supposed to do now? The man you supposed to call out. Why you go leave your married woman go for side chick? Not be the side chick. No side chick go feel manipulate any man. You understand what I mean now? But what you do is the most stupid thing on earth. And Nigeria is there because say they don't like you. They say you feel help, they make money. They don't even know say you say you see they, they you see they, they try on your own. Nigeria say, some of you are not like the truth. 
When I not say I know the this side where people they, and they only did the other side. Many of them are not like the truth, and I they cause the problem of Nigeria. If this one just talk, everything where Kubana chief priests do is the most stupid thing on earth. You call the girl come outside now. I say you, you, you not get side chick. Where they would they tell? Nobody, any married man or anybody with a day relationship, forget married, we we'll talk about relationship. A lot, out of 100%, 90% will see gay, we will find past their gay. They'll talk to her, say, they don't get girl, they don't get girl. Now the same thing. But when you do you will not know, say your gay is precious. No gay will access your phone, call get your other gay number. So the problem not be Mariana, the other than the man, whether they call Kevin. So, but you leave Kevin now, Maria, because he, he go big brother, he turn star. So you want disgrace her, so that me they know what you do now, rubbish. Go apologize to people. I know, I know they come here. I know even I know they look past face. Now whether they say Kubana, they defeat the black one. Now we see get some more sense because I know say that one not to get like that. Now they call the defeat that one, but not be that one. Are you do face like Kalek? Go face. Go, go, go straight on that. <laughs> Where we they turn and say this problem we will get for Nigeria and we will they cause on I say na lie. <laughs> nah, nah, they don't bring news come as I say Nigeria army. Some of them say that they say gun they give bandit. And a lot of ghost workers, people who don't die, now they collect salary for Nigeria army. I watch this news. I said, no, this is not a news. But Nigeria people, I don't know. Those of you never watch them, this is a disgrace to our personality of human confiando. Those of you never watch them, oh yeah, rigadilo. A London based magazine named The Economist has blasted President Muhammad Buhari and the Nigerian army over the poor state of the country. In its editorial titled The Crime Scene at the Heart of Africa, the, part, uh, the paper rather stayed, uh, stated that the Nigerian army is filled with corrupt generals and is unable to protect the country from the mutation violence. It also alleged that many of its soldiers are ghosts who exist only on the payroll and much of its equipment is stolen and sold to insurgents. It also Woman, uh, this is a disgrace to our nation. Nigerian army is said going to give because I couldn't look and say. So Boko Haram strong past Nigeria army. That time we feel like they sing zombie or oh, zombie. Those who made they cover their mouth, they come, they, they catalyze everybody. So more bandits, no, 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 we will not know, say, a Nigerian army with the, they do market. So please, if you be Nigerian army, I they read this news for you. I know they read it and they give Nigeria citizen. You know. Nigeria army will not get sense. We carry Nigeria for a year. For a year. You better remove her for a year, put her for a year. The problem where you are they face. No, 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 To fight Boko Haram, not pass two seconds. Boko Haram go wrong. To fight bandit, not even pass. Mm. Bandit go wrong. But no, 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 the soul na safe at. No, no, no. So no kill yourself because of Nigeria. Now let me de beg because a lot of my fans, they be army. Please, no kill yourself for this country. Oh. Because your leader, all of them, I did the tossing and they say gone. They give Boko a uh, bandit everything, information. No go kill yourself. Use him, you, 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 you. Because in Nigeria, eh, you visit, you won't do right. Another person, they, people, they do wrong. Plenty pass right to use him, you, you, you. Go straight to other news, no time. Where are they told? I say Nigeria no go good. I say na lie. He go good. He go good. Oh, but I don't know. Momo, 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 momo. Make I do my eye like this. Momo, I know say I read the verse. Now, nah, journalists don't the loss. Grown up man with better, you understand what I mean now, with Jerusalem, everything, don't lose. Journalists don't lose for Abuja team. Now, nah, they never see a, a girlfriend, a shankers, everybody, they find out nah, this man, nah, they lost for the past how many weeks now? Nah, and the country, they move on, they go. <laughs> what they don't say, country, nah, really. God, please. If they send angel, they come Nigeria. Can't they move? Because some don't lose, you don't know. Can't they? Journalists, the whole journalist lost. Nothing. The country see they move on, they go. Nothing. DSS, nobody degree the final. Full grown up man will be a beer. 
for armpit everywhere, but you understand what I mean? Uh, I had a law, so those of you who watch her, where the journalist called the protest, this is a disgrace to this nation. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> The Nigerian Union of Journalists, NUJ, the FCT capital chapter, has challenged the Nigerian police, the DSS, and other security agencies to up the ante on intelligence. In a solidarity walk to the force headquarters in Abuja, the union called for the unraveling of the disappearance of Todu Salem, a reporter with the Vanguard newspaper. Salem has been missing for 12 days now. June 2021 report of the Nigerian Union of Journalists and Media Foundation for West Africa gave a shocking revelation. The media industry had recorded seven unresolved killings, 300 violations which had affected about 500 journalists, media workers and media houses in Nigeria. The NUJ Council Chairman Emmanuel Ogbeche says what all these show is that the prevailing environment is unsafe for journalists and other media workers. The demand of the union is that the case of the missing journalist be transferred to a special unit of the IGP for speedy results. It was an um, undertaking for us to reinforce our demand that the police should do more in um, locating uh, Mr. Tudu Salem, reuniting with his family, and if it's a case of um, abduction, bring to book those responsible for his disappearance. Media correspondents at the protest expressed their displeasure over the constant harassment, intimidation, brutalization and disappearances of journalists. They called on security agencies to ensure the protection of journalists in the course of carrying out their duties. I'm saddened and I'm traumatized that what we expected to get from the police is direct opposite of what they are telling us. Today, we marched to the force headquarters to demand for the free return and safe return of our colleague, Mr. Todwe Salem of Vanguard newspaper, who have been missing since about 12 days ago. Responding to the protesting journalist, the force public relations officer, Frank Umba, said all hands were on deck to unravel the misery. As I speak to you, We've made considerable, significant progress with investigation. But I'm glad that the chairman of the council understood the need for confidential briefing. And because of that request, I would rather do more of confidential briefings. The prayers of everyone is that Toju is found soonest so that he can reunite with his family, colleagues and loved ones. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates. Woman, complete full human being. On your marketing. Everybody banskele marketing. Banskele wo me jingla jingla. Wo me yank probone. Bullet. Full pesi papa na en loss. Inside this country, and on a one milk person, they talk truth. Nice somebody, look. you see the reason why I know they like come outside. A lot of people say, Panana, they can't show, no, they can't like this guy. This country, not be waiting they put for you now. Yeah, they put a more up and what get home. now, because the people in the visit, they know they do bad and they, they do bad. Now, somebody's a uh, papa, boyfriend, horseman, a uh, picking, everything. I don't lose. So, nobody, if you say, you say you get side shako. So please, we beg Nigeria government. If we na kidnap the guy, we gonna return her to us. Because if na evu kidnap and I kidnap her, they go tell us say na they kidnap more piece of money. But nobody tell us nothing, nothing. We don't call devil, devil say the not see We don't call EJ, EJ say not the devil. We don't call enemy. We don't call everywhere. Nobody say they see So na government, we not get government number. If we na see her, we na return journalists for us. Woman, ah, how this country won't take good. The moment you won't plan to make this country do okay, it, I make Baskele way. Now, nah, Baskele all here, nah, nah. Complete human be like this, nah, I lost. So. We'll go straight to other news, no time. So, my people, if you like what you are wearing, I'm going to run now. I don't need to talk much today because on Saturday, I won't really get time for now. 
So na pasuku di rona so momo put the number there bro may god bless you you know easy to the sotalize things for me like this no time go no go no go no time no time at the hurry to dey I won't I won't I won't go sleep Parada want talk to to pop news want talk sense Parada want to mad again Hey hey Parada di talk bit at to bit at to the pain the bad people Mock news and tell the people to Bonsoir by Vakil 20